there hasn't been a new asset class since the bond market was created in 1693. Well, now there's a new asset class, and it is the digital asset space. The question is, are you participating? Hey, what's going on, guys? It's the Crypto Siege with another day in the life, in the crazy life that is the digital asset space. Good morning. Happy Monday to you. I'm going to go over a couple of articles here with, with you guys. I hope you get it. hope you understand where we are. I hope you feel blessed because I know that I do. An early adopter in a new asset class is a pretty cool place to be. I was just watching something from Tika Tawari um, earlier this morning, and I got to tell you, when I hear him talk about five coins or you know Davos and all that stuff and all the major players in Davos talking crypto, talking digital assets, wow, do I get really, really excited about it because we know more than they know. It's a pretty cool feeling. All right, guys, so listen, this is your XRP Ripple daily news in zero to 10 minutes. Let's do this. New role at Ripple targets Wall Street institutions Cryptocurrency traders and XRP enterprises. Ripple is creating a new role to expand its presence among Wall Street institutions and improve its narrative in the crypto community. In a new job listing, San Francisco startup says it's looking for a vice president of marketing. The role is designed to build Ripple's corporate brand by threading the needle and simultaneously targeting large players in the world of finance and influential participants in the world of cryptocurrency. This person's three key charters will be operationalizing and rapidly scaling Ripple's B2B marketing funnel, building its corporate brand in a complex marketplace comprised of very diverse audiences. Wow, interesting. Um, there, there's a new hire out. <laughs> They're looking for someone, huh? Isn't this a new gig at the Ripple? From Wall Street financial institutions to crypto influencers and leading the testing and expansion of Ripple's B2B, B2C brand to people who send and receive money internationally. The opening is also designed to clarify the connection between Ripple and the crypto asset XRP. Well, isn't this interesting? Crypto influences as well. So from Wall Street institutions to crypto influences. Nice. All right. So Ripple says the new hire will focus on building brand awareness and shaping market perception through global integrated campaigns in partnership with our design and corporate communications team, developing our corporate narrative and thought leadership, thought leadership platforms to continuously increase our global market leadership and clarify the relationship between Ripple and XRP. That is a very, very interesting job title. The, the new hire will focus on building brand awareness and shaping market perception through global integrated campaigns in partnership with our design and corporate communications team while developing, developing our corporate narrative and thought leadership platforms to continuously increase our global market leadership and clarify the relationship between Ripple and XRP. Interesting. I find it interesting as well that David Schwartz uh, is, is doing a podcast called Block, B-L-O-C, -B Stars, Block Stars. Isn't that, isn't that along the same lines? It, it certainly will lead to some clarity when David Schwartz speaks. I got to tell you that. He'll certainly uh, bring about some clarity <laughs> between what is Ripple, the company, and XRP, the greatest digital asset ever created. Interesting. I'm sure we're going to hear a lot about this. <laughs> the word on the street, but it feels as though it's kind of like they're, they're going to be looking to 
really kind of get into the digital asset space community as well. So we shall see what that's going to look like. But that's a very, very interesting read. Without question, that is a very, very interesting read. Here's a, some really big news on a global scale. Amid the beer cold backlash, China tests state-run digital currency to counter dollar monopoly. The ERMB, the ERMB. Think about that. Remember those ESDRs that the digital nomad investor was talking about that Rickards said that the uh, IMF would be looking to implement? The ERMB, the ERMB, the electronic renminbi, makes debut in four Chinese cities. China mulls full-fledged debut adoption by mid-2021. The introduction of the digital currency is seen as a Chinese move to counter dollar weaponization and so provide investors and businesses with a choice an, an alternative to dollar settlement. China has begun piloting, piloting its new digital currency in four major cities, becoming the first nation to do so. The nation has reportedly begun trials in four cities, including Shenzhen, Suzhou, Chengdu, as well as Yang'an. Hope I said those right and areas that will host some of the events for the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics. It has been formally adopted into the city's monetary systems, reported state media outlet, China Daily. <laughs> the digital currency known as the E, remember, the ERMB would be used for paying the April month salaries to some government employees and public servants. Well, how about that? The digital currency will be used to subsidize transport in Suzhou, but in Zhengang, the trial primarily focused on food and retail, The Guardian reported. In addition, Global Government Forum, an online portal reported that 19 retailers, including McDonald's, Starbucks, and Subway, have been invited to trial the digital yuan in the Zhongang new area. However, Starbucks has since denied its involvement. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering, do you think perhaps that the Donald president of the United States made some phone calls. <laughs> I think he probably did. All right. According to a report by China Daily, a statement by the People's Bank of China said that the digital currency will not be used in large amounts for public use in the short term and that the digital currency in circulation would not lead to an inflation surge. The pilot's aim in all locations is to optimize and improve functionality ahead of the wider rollout of the currency. The introduction of the digital currency is seen as a Chinese move to counter dollar weaponization and so provide investors and businesses with a choice and alternative to dollar settlement. <laughs> China has been at the receiving end as it became the starting point for the emergence of the novel beer code that has affected more than 3 million people worldwide and brought economic activities around the globe to a standstill. Indeed, it has, threatening one of the worst recessions after the Great Depression. A sovereign digital currency provides a functional alternative to the dollar settlement system and blunts the impact of any sanctions or threats of exclusion, both at a country and company level. I mean, this is they're, 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 they're stating their point and their message loud and clear, loud and clear. They no longer want to be part of 
you know, the swift uh, weaponization. The dollar as a reserve currency as the world's reserve currency weaponization. They're stating their message loud and clear. It may also facilitate integration into globally traded currency markets with a reduced risk of politically inspired disruption. The stability of the Chinese yuan during the beer cold crisis has enhanced its appeal to many investors. <laughs> These two settlement systems, US dollar and China sovereign digital, may operate side by side or if need be on a mutually exclusive basis, read a recent opinion piece in the China Daily. <laughs> oh man, progress on the digital currency was reportedly spurred on by Facebook's announcement in June. It intended to launch one itself. The PBOC will be sole issuer of the digital yuan, the People's Bank of China. <laughs> initially offering the digital money to commercial banks and other operators. An official told the China Daily that the public would be able to convert money in their bank accounts to the digital version and make deposits via electronic wallets. Reportedly, the technology allows the digital currency to be exchanged without an internet connection. That's a very powerful sentence right there, without the internet, and that it can be used to make contactless payments. China is not messing around. China is moving forward. And again, guys, they are stating their point, making a point very, very loud and clear. No longer are they going to be subject to the US dollar's weaponization. It's a powerful, powerful, powerful move, and others will soon fall in line to do the same thing. So what is the answer? What's the answer? How is the US, how is the dollar gonna respond to such a thing? Just trust me, there's going to be a response. The question is, what is it going to look like? What's it gonna look like? And what is going to be that digital asset that serves a global purpose that is agnostic and gives every single major nation a win? Gives them a win. Certainly, the United States is not, is, is not going to believe that it's the E. R E uh, B the E remember certainly the United States is not going to think that and certainly China is not going to think that the United States digital dollar is that so what could be that digital asset with so many use cases that provides massive liquidity we shall see at the same time the government is yet to confirm a proposed timeline for the rollout of the digital yuan the full rollout, but several local reports point towards a mid-2021 launch date. Guys, pay, pay, hope you guys got your XRP radar antennas up. Pay close attention to that because with these little, with this rollout, however small that it is, the fact that they're using it for salaries and, and it's already been stated that they can convert their regular fiat, that dirty, nasty fiat cash, for this E, remember, is massive. It's powerful. This is where we're going. So I hope you guys are prepared. And I know that we are, right? Because we've been in this game for a while now. Early adopters in this entirely new asset class with first movers advantage. With first movers advantage. It's exciting, guys. All right, listen, guys, I'm going to wrap up this video like I do all of my videos and remind you of this that old money doesn't want you to win. They don't want us to win. They would rather us remain a cog in their perpetual will of trading our time for dollars. They don't want us to play in the same playground that they play in, but we allow our money to work for us. This is our chance to win, guys. The digital asset space is our chance to win. 
We are in the midst of the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of man. Are you participating? Or are you standing on the sidelines? Here is what I do know. That the battle for you has already been fought. And the victory is yours. Go get it. I'll talk to you soon, guys. See ya. Bye.